All right, we're about a minute early, but I think we can go ahead and we will open the uh, meeting for the Pocosin Planning Commission tonight, Monday, March 18th, 7 o'clock. And I'll call that meeting to order at this time and ask uh, if you would join me in the invocation and pledge of allegiance. If you please stand. Go we'll say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, we will move on to the first item on the agenda tonight, which is the approval of the minutes. First, we have the work session, which was held February 21st, 2019. Do I have a motion to accept those minutes as written? So moved. Second. Second. All right, Karen. Okay. Commissioner Brennan? Abstained. Commissioner Grebel? Aye. Commissioner Emmett? Aye. Aye. Chairwoman Shriver? Aye. That motion was carried by a vote of four to Thank you, Karen. And the next uh, item is for the regular, I mean, the next uh, approval of the minutes is for the regular session, which was February 21st, 2019. Do I have a motion to accept those minutes for the regular session? Motion to accept as written. And I'll take a second if someone. Second. Thank you, Libby. Karen. Commissioner Aye. Commissioner Emmett? Aye. Commissioner Grebel? Aye. Commissioner Brennan? Abstain. Chairwoman Shriver? Aye. And that motion was carried by a vote of four to one abstention. Thank you, Karen. Uh, we'll now go to the audience for visitors. And at this time, anyone who wishes to address the Planning Commission about anything other than the public hearing item on the agenda, uh, this is the time you would need to come forward and give us your name and your um, address. And if there is no one here that is going to do that, we're going to close the audience for visitors and move right on to the public hearing uh, item on our agenda, which is a conditional use permit amendment request by Fountains of Pocosin LLC. And I believe that uh, probably Mr. Uh, Moses is going to make a presentation, Wiley, or? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Say that this is the actual extension that he's applying for is. June 27, 2019 to February 12th, 2021. Same date that uh, phase three and phase four expire. Okay. Um, so I guess. But with that, I'll let Mr. Moses. All right. Should we, um, okay, we'll do that and then we'll open the public hearing. I guess he's, since he's in, he's the one that's coming. It's a little bit different because he's in the audience. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Moses. We can see you got everything set up, so I guess we'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll do the public hearing. Okay, well, thank you for letting me come tonight to ask for an extension or an amendment to the existing conditional use permit for phases one and two. Um, just give a little background for anyone as a ball of the bouncing ball about the fountains. We started out just with the two pieces of property that's now this reverse L set uh, symbol here. Phase one, uh, we started- Mr. Moses, excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt you, but if you could speak into that mic- Okay. Because the people at home will not be able to hear you. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh, no you. problem, thank you. So we uh, completed phase one and then, uh, and then phase two is not built yet. Uh, we've got two buildings approved for phase two, buildings two and three. And then as we move forward with phases one and two, 
we took interest in what's now phase three and phase four, and we were uh, developing that or getting that approved in parallel. So I just want everyone to know there's kind of two sections, and what we're trying to do tonight is kind of just bring them all together by putting them all under the same timeline for a conditional use permit. So again, just a little more about the history. Uh, in 2014, we were approved a three-year conditional use permit for what is phases one and two. Uh, we had the construction plans approved for phases one and two. Uh, we <coughs> proceeded into phase one with building one and completed that. Uh, and then we were, uh, and did some site work in phase two with the plans to go ahead and continue into phase two and three, or phase two, with buildings two and three. Uh, we just didn't get funding going quick enough. Um, but as we were finishing up building one, we got another three-year extension on that conditional use permit so that we, we could go ahead and proceed with buildings two and three. Uh, the city has already approved the construction plans for both buildings two and three that are in phase two. And we're presently finalizing the construction loans uh, with a new bank now. Um, and we plan to proceed with construction as early as possible. Um, however, the conditional use permit for the two buildings we'd like to build is going to expire soon. So we'd like to, uh, I'm here tonight to uh, ask for an extension for those two buildings. And again, just pick a, a date in the future that aligns with another date that's on the other phase three and four. Just continuing with this, uh, in 2016, September 12th, the conditional use permit along with the rezoning was approved for what is now phases three and four. And again, it's that September 12th date that five years into the future from now is the date we're, we're looking at um, asking for an extension for uh, the conditional use permit for phase two. So again, it will line up with the conditional use permit expiration date for phases three and four. Uh, the, uh, the current construction plans, again, is to press forward as quickly as possible with clearing and site stabiliza stabilization of phase two. Uh, we're going to do all the, all the site work in phase two, and then we're going to proceed with constructing building two as the financing is coming available. And then we'll build uh, building three as soon as the bank is ready for us to do that. There'll have to be a, certainly a leasing and tenants occupying it and stabilization and all the things the bank makes us uh, do and again today's request I'm just asking uh, for conditional use permit amendment for phase two so again to make that expiration date consistent with the expiration date for the other part of the development and again that date would be September 12th 2021 and that's all I have in the main charts happy to answer any questions I have a question I'm not familiar with your project per se your building one how many apartments are in building one there are eight total apartments four two bedroom two baths they're on the floor just above the ground level and then above that are four four bedroom three baths and they're townhouse style there's an interior staircase so you got basically the same floor plan as you do the two bedrooms two baths but then there's, there's an interior staircase in the great room that goes up to two more uh, bedrooms and a shared bath and a common area. So there are eight uh, units in that one building? Eight apartments in the one building. And are they all rented? Yes, they are. They are. And Mr. What, Moses, I'm, I'm going I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to, before we get into asking oh, him to, that's okay. We're going to technically open the okay. public hearing since you've made the presentation. Okay. And I don't know... <coughs> You know, if you wanted to say anything else before I set you down, no, that's you okay? Fine. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll go ahead then, and and we will officially open the public hearing on this. And I don't think anyone come forward because Mr. Moses is the only person here tonight. So I will close that. Now the planning commission can take this under consideration, and we may ask some questions, Mr. Moses. And if we do, we'll get you to come up probably to the microphone. But uh, anyone now have any comments or, or anything they'd like to talk about before we ask Mr. Moses? Or if you have something, feel free to ask him and he'll come up. 
to the podium. I don't have any uh, specific questions other than, uh, you know, I think it's, it's, it's a reasonable request to line, you know, with, uh, with phases three and four. It certainly doesn't make any sense not to, not to grant it and that kind of curtail the activity. So it just makes, to me, it makes common sense to, to uh, you know, uh, you know, react favorably to the request. I, I would tend to agree with Kevin. I just want to, I, this is not a suggestion of any sort, but I just want to ask the city, from a city perspective, is there any downside to this? Is there any reason why we or city council should be considering not granting such an extension? I can't really think of any reason not to. Uh, I would think it would be pretty obvious to some of your folks if there were, and I just don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, Mr. Moses probably wishes this thing was built a long time before. And, you know, it would have been the city's hope. But if he doesn't get his extension, essentially phase two never Oh, I think the request is perfectly reasonable. I just wanted to make yeah. sure I wasn't missing yeah. something. I, I don't think you are. Okay. Unless uh, mm -hmm. some of my staff. I'd just like to know a little bit more about building two and three. I not, I'm on I have no objections to it. I'm just trying to educate myself on what's going on there. Because we have some new members, I'm Mr. New. Moses, yeah. and they're not as familiar with this probably as, as some of us are because we we remember it. But uh, if you could refresh a little bit for okay. several of the new members, that would be good. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, so uh, phase one, building one's complete. Uh, building two is shown at 45 degrees. That's the one we want to build next. Mm -hmm. And then the phase two, three, that's building three in phase two. And so we'll do all the site work you see around buildings two and three in, in this one swoop. Then we'll build building two, and then we'll build building three. And then we hope to move over and build building six. Building six is all commercial. It looks exactly like building one and um, and building three. Now, if you notice, building two and building four and five are a little bit smaller. They should look that way. Um, actually, four and five look identical. To, yeah. uh, but building two is a little shorter than buildings one and three, and that was by design so we could get the fire truck around the backside of building one and the backside of building three and still be able to project uh, fire suppression into the back of building two if necessary. How many units will be in building two? Building two is still going to have eight units. Eight. The thing is, is we had to shave off about 12 feet of that building on one side. So a two bedroom, two of the two bedrooms downstairs or on the first floor above the ground are now going to be one bedroom, one bath. And those are already got a waiting list. <laughs> what kind of rent are you looking at one, for one bedroom? It'll be under a thousand. Under a thousand. Uh, it'll be under a thousand. And then above that, that townhouse four bedroom is now going to be a one over one townhouse. So it'll be two, uh, two bath, two, two full bedrooms. And so, what kind of rent are they commanding? Um, probably eleven, twelve hundred. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're, they're, right now, I get for the two bedroom, two baths in phase one, I get about fourteen hundred. If you're facing food line, fourteen fifty. If you're facing the pond. And then the four bedrooms, three baths, I've got a waiting list, probably at least eight people wanting the four bedrooms. Okay. And those are up close to 2000 a month. And what about uh, phase, uh, your building three there? Building three will be identical to building one. <laughs> building four and five will be identical to building two. And building six is all commercial. And when I get that CO, then I'm allowed to go build the townhouses in phase four. There's 16 townhouses, approximately. You're kind of hoping to get going with the breaking of the ground pretty soon. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we've switched lenders. Mm -hmm. We think we switched lenders. He couldn't mm -hmm. be here tonight. I've already forwarded his, his, his regrets to Karen and, and mm -hmm. Wally. But... Uh, so is that the delay financial reasons that it's been delayed? or We, we have been struggling with, okay, so um, good question. Um, we got started on this project with Virginia Company Bank 
Uh, we had uh, Virginia County Bank had a lot of coaching people on the board. Uh, while we were constructing Building 1, Eastern Virginia Bank bought out Virginia Company Bank, but they stuck with us because they couldn't back out then. Before we closed on the final loan for Building 1, which made it a term loan from a construction loan, EVB had been bought out by Sona, Southern National. I know it's being recorded. I'm worried that some people there at that bank don't even know how to spell Pocosin or say it. And, and uh, that's harsh, but that's the way we feel about it right now. We have been waiting, and so we are looking at going with another bank. And uh, the other bank is one in town that is very much familiar with Pocosin. And uh, they're very happy to be with us. Heard a commitment from them? We're finalizing the loan now. I, do, I have a preliminary term sheet. I do not have a final term sheet. Where, where we've been trying to sort out is, you know, the, they lend money based on income versus expenses, not really by how much it costs. It's, it's an income basis. We've got one building paying all the taxes and all the cost of where Building 2 goes and Building 3 and where Phase 4 is going to go and where Phase 3 is going to go. So identifying and itemizing out those specific expenses to those future buildings has been agonizing. And so I think we're straight now with the bank and now they can do a, an apples and apples saying this goes to Building 1, this will be the loan because they've got to buy out the previous banker because that's all one parcel so they've got to buy out the bank who currently has the loan for bank for building one then give the construction loan to building two and it's going to be one per and so they have to do it based on income and expenses it's, that's so phase uh, building one two and three are on the same parcel is that correct that's correct okay so this Venture will encompass not only refinance of phase one of building one, but provide construction loan for two and three. That's correct. What kind of occupancy do they require before they go into three? They would well. They um, they won't. They would like it stabilized. So that basically means it's not really based on the occupancy. It's based on how much rental income I'm getting versus the expenses. And um, so we we expect the residential to go quick um, it did in the building one it, it will in building two and three we we seem to have encouraged the market to uh look at us i think location is part of it and i think pricing is the other part i have a quick question for you just uh what fulfilled so an extension till 2021 what fulfill what's the technical how far along do you have to be just break ground before 2021 is that the and then that part will be fulfilled well, for this let me see uh, is. i think it has to be completed uh, and rented uh, or just uh, building completed? see certificate of occupancy for okay well, okay thank you the project yeah. is not considered uh not if the project is not constructed and fully operational okay Fully operational. Okay. Certificate, By 2021? Certificate of occupancy. Okay. Right. Okay. And you expect that by the 2021? We are hoping to get on with it, yes. Um, we have been in an idle position. I was promised the Building 2 loan before I finished the Building 1 loan. In fact, I'd been promised it before I started construction of Building 1. Building 2 was supposed to be on the hills of Building 1. It never happened. One merger after another, and we have been forgotten hate to say but this other bank is very committed to seeing us get this completed built out and if they don't take it we've got another bank in town that will so we're no more delays playing games i was just wondering if the 2021 is quite aggressive or if that it's going to be ambitious to finish the townhouses as well because i cannot start the townhouses until i build building six i'm happy to entertain an extension on the extension <laughs> uh but i will leave that to y'all to decide what um what you think might be reasonable if you want to extend that by two more years to give me time to finish the townhouses i'm happy to discuss that further 
reality of it is, finish this project in two years is very aggressive. <laughs> And not likely to occur. I mean, generally, yeah, just we, based on my experience. We are we are hoping to, to um, at least be cracking open the townhouses about the same time as we crack open buildings four and five. Uh, now, to do building six, I need four pre-leases on the commercial. That bank is, and we have half that right now. So Any commitments on that commercial lease. We got two of the four we need. So. We just need to get on with the advertising, and and that that's happening now as well. It it'll, it'll help when I get in there and clear everything, and I put the driveway all the way through, and folks can get a good feel for what the fountains really is. Do you have a leasing agent in there? Or? I have a residential leasing agent, um, a local real estate firm. The commercial one I've just been working with, the person who has brought me the first potential tenant for building six. But uh, I'm happy to work. I don't have anyone signed up on the commercial side. So if you know a really good, <laughs> someone who may be interested in working with us to find commercial tenants, we're, we're all ears. You know, I think it, I think it is aggressive uh, September 2021. 20, However, I, I think it's prudent to keep a, that target because if we extend it any further, I hear you, you know, banks will say, well, you know, we got another five years and we got. Oh, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm happy to uh, use that as a way that we got to keep this rolling. I, that was my, that was my thought. I think we need to stick with that too. Yeah. Well, I do. I, 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 I agree with what Kevin says because it, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to extend phase two beyond. The other two phases, which are ready, are set for 2021. And, right. And, you know, they're not in this particular question, so I think we should do, just dealing with the question that we've got right now. It makes a lot of sense to tie them all the same day. Exactly. And then yeah. if something happens in, in two and a half years, we see what happens then. But yeah. I can always just, come back and like ask a logical for, move to me. Yeah. for three or four mm -hmm. if necessary. But we do plan not to come back for an extension on phase two. We, we hope this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I understand. Um, any other questions? The Madam Chair, I move that, uh, that we recommend that the City Council approve the extension. Okay, second. Second. Karen? Commissioner Brennan? Aye. Commissioner Griebel? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Travis? Aye. Chairwoman Shriver? Aye. That motion was carried by a vote of five to zero. All right, and that will go to council's meeting. Uh, go to city council. City council. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Uh, we're not sure if it's going to go on the eighth or the twenty second. Okay. See what the and they will. They will. We got to be able to advertise it. Yeah. They'll have the final say on that, but we have recommended that they do amend or modify your your current Thank you all. situation. All right. Good luck. Okay, so moving on, to, uh, I guess we'll do communications and correspondence and Wiley. We'll go to you first. Well, uh, a few things. Uh, we do believe that we will get the legacy plan again within another day or two. I have been in and uh, just said, look, we're going to call this plan because it's kind of a combination of a plan and a development plan. We got that straightened out. Uh, checklist. I expect to see it any day now. Um, so, so that's coming in, and um, Porter Creek. We're uh, still reviewing that. I think we've talked about Porter Creek before. Person who's uh, asking some questions about grinder pumps right now. Big plans, big plans. Um, a few violations that we're out after, but I'm not going to call. <laughs> but uh, but we've got a few of those that we're working on, and that's taking a fair amount of staff time. Uh, we're also uh, just kind of thought for the future. Uh, 
uh, we're working through uh, trying to again clarify our sign requirements. Uh, at Article 6, it talks about signs and right-of-ways. Where we're going to go in that direction with an eye towards being able to efficiently separate right-of-way signs from private property signs, uh, which is in Appendix D. Uh, I'm working on some uh, uh, subdivision ordinance, trying to get that in accord with current state code. That's, I, think, I think we're going to do that first. What we'll do after that is we'll start looking at specific issues. Currently, we'll be needing the Planning Commission's feedback when we get to that. As you already noted, we're sort of going through the zoning ordinance. Right now. Probably, probably utilize the work sessions as we... That's about all I've got. Unless there's specific questions. Huh? Hey, do you mind if I ask a question real quick? Hey, yeah. it, just going back to conditional use permits and expiring, that brought me back to the, the Gata Auto Sales mm -hmm. that was a conditional use. And with the utility relocation, is that building, I, I remember when that was approved by council, they said, well, it's not going to be here for very long because of with Creek Winding. So with the utility relocation, is that, I don't know if you would know that. That's a very good question that back to you on. Uh, I wasn't familiar with that particular surprising since I'm fairly new here, mm -hmm. but uh, but yeah, we'll need to check. Approval, you know, what's name? Gata G A I T A. Uh, nothing from me this evening. Thank you. And will we do a work session at 6.30 before that, do you think? <sighs> I don't think we need to. Okay. Uh, I, I, but let me, let me see where we are on several of our... It sort of depends on whether we get a work session with city council. With oh, I'll just say uh, tonight we have a new member uh, on. Uh, he's sort of a new member. He actually served on planning commission some years ago, and we're glad to have him back, Kevin Brennan. He's here tonight, and uh, Kevin, we <laughs> welcome you and. Look forward to serving with you again. I know I Thank enjoyed serving with you and glad to have you. Thank glad you. to have you. And I'm going to close. I'm going to let you have any say you'd like to at this time. We uh, always go down and yeah. so we'll start on your end as usual. Uh, I have no specific uh, comments other than uh, happy to be, uh, you know, back in the back mission. Thank Good. you. Good. Thank you. Libby. I have nothing else. Uh, my only thing, thank you, Karen. I called up Karen earlier today and asked all sorts of uh, non-conforming 101 side setback questions, and thank you so much for taking the time to. I, two quick things, but uh, that I think it's worth mentioning. And first of all, we all know that uh, Commission Fennis is not here. I know we put the pieces together, but she's supposedly in New Zealand where, of course, all the activity was over the weekend. As far as I know, she would not be anywhere. I don't know her very well. I don't think she would be anywhere near that, but I think we should at least keep in mind that we do have a commissioner who's in not. that area right now. Yeah. And the other comment is, is, if you may remember, the last meeting we had a, a young lady, and I believe her name was Trisdale. She yeah. talked about uh, water erosion onto her property. And, and we got into a lot of conversation about... Uh, other things than what she brought up. And, and, and I, I don't know if we pay attention to this. I don't know if this is a thing that the city looks at. I, I kind of tried to work my way through city code. That is one heck of a job, by the way. But the way I read the city code is, for somebody to have done that, they have to have permission. Now, this person may have had permission. I don't know that. But it certainly seems to me that it's something that 
if, if, if the city's not keeping an eye on, we ought to. And if you go down that part of Pocosa, and I'm more familiar with that part, that's where I live, there's a, there's a bunch of houses that are stuck up in the air on ground. And I, I assume that they're all approved, but I don't know. I just don't, I'm not asking anybody to tell me, but I'm just saying it's something we might want to keep in mind, because she certainly raised what sounded like a reasonable question, but I don't know. Other than that, uh, everybody have a great day. Have anything else to say? If they don't, we'll adjourn the meeting. Kevin, you got lucky tonight. This was a short one. It was a good mm -hmm. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe you're a good luck charm. <laughs> Thanks for bringing